Hey guys, welcome back to this video. You know me, Hyper76. Today, I am going to be reading the book, The Jungle Book. Guys, I like this book because I watched the movie. It was funny. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but you guys can watch this on Disney Plus And uh, yeah, so let's get started into the book. In the book the jungle book <laughs> many strange legends are told of the jungle of far of india they speak of bag I don't know that word because I'm just a kid right now. Bag, Bag Hira, the Black Panther of uh, Balo, the bear they tell of Ka, the sly fa phantom was uh, of the Lord of the Jungle, the great tiger Sher Kion, but all of all these legends, none of so strange as the story of a small boy named Mowgli. Oh. A child left all alone in the jungle was found by ba Bagheera. The panther Bagheera could not give the small helpless man cub care the boy to the den of the wolf family with young cubs of their own. That is how it happened. That Mowgli, 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 as the man cub that came to be called, was raised among the wolves. Mowgli had lived, had Oh, I'm just so tired, guys. Mowgli had lived with the wolves for 10 years when the wolf pack called a meeting at Council Rock, as you know, said Alcala, the leader of the pack, Sher Kion. The tiger has returned if he learns that our pack is hard board, harboring a man cub danger will be doubled for all our family. The man cub can no longer stay with the pack. Out of the shadows stepped Bagheeri, the panther. Perhaps I can be uh be I can be of help said Bagheeri. I know of of a man village where he'll be safe. So it was arranged and when and when the green and when the greenish light of the jungle morning slipped through the leaves, Bagheeri and Mowgli set out all day they walked and when night fell they slept on a high branch of a giant Banyan, Banyan tree. All this seemed like an adventure to Mowgli, but when he learned that he was to lead the jungle, he was horrified. No, cried Mowgli. I want to stay in the jungle. I'm not afraid. I can look out for myself. He slipped down a length of trailing vines, vine, and ran away. Mowgli soon met a bumbling bear named Bolo. Bolo played games with Mowgli and taught him to live a life of ease. There was coconuts to crack, bananas to peel, and sweet juicy papas, papas to pick from jungle trees. And so, Colono, Hathi, and proud old leader of the elephant herd tried to train young Mowgli in military drills. As he led his 
troop trumpet down the jungle trails. Mowgli was having such a fun in the time, such a fun, having such fun in the jungle. But the jungle was dangerous. Sly old car was the, the panthem. The python would have have loved to squeeze Mowgli tight in his coils, but sheer but sheer Kai on the tiger was the real danger to Mowgli. That was because Sheer Kai, like all tigers, had a hatcher of man. There were there were other dangers to one. Day two. One day, Bolo and Mowgli were enjoying a dip in the jungle river. Suddenly, down swooped the monkey folk. They snatched Mowgli from the water before Bolo knew what was happening. They tossed him through the air from hand to hand and swung away with him through the trees. Off in the jungle. Bagheera heard Mowgli's cry and came with a leap and and a bound. The monkeys have carried him off. Gas Bolo, Bagheera and Bolo race to to the ruined city where the monkeys made their home. They found Mowgli a prisoner of the Monkey King. Teach me the secret of man's red. Fire the Monkey King ordered Mowgli, so I can be like you. It took quite a fight for Bagheera and Bolo to rescue Mowgli. Look, Mowgli said, Bolo, I gotta take you to the Man Village, but Alice, the boy. Would not listen. He kicked up his heels and ran away again. This time, his wanderings led him to the high grass where Shere Khan lay waiting, smiling and hungry, and waiting, smiling a hungry smile. When Mowgli caught sight of of. Uh, when Mowgli caught sight of the tiger, Shere Khan asked, "Well, man cub, are you to run?" But Mowgli did not leave the wisdom to be afraid. Why should I run? He asked, starting at Shere Khan as the tig as the tiger gathered himself to pounce. You don't see me scare you. Me. You don't. You don't scare me. That foolish boy growled Bagheera, who had creeped close just in time to hear Mowgli. With Bagheera, a bolo flung themselves upon the Lord of the Jungle to save Mowgli once more. They were brave and strong, but the tiger was mighty of tooth. And claw. There was a flash of lightning, and a dead tree nearby caught fire. Mowgli snatched a burning branch and tied it to Sher Khan's tiger tail. Tail. Tree nearby caught fire. Mowgli snatched. Nope. The tiger, terrified, ran away. Mowgli was very pleased with himself as he struck between the two wary warriors, warriors, Bagheera and Bolo. Oh my goodness! It fell down like that. A little later, Mowgli reached the man village. From ahead came a sound he did not know. He peeked through a bush. It was the song of a village girl who had come to fill her water jug. As he listened to the soft notes of her song, Mowgli felt that he must follow the girl. He crept up the path to the village, drawn by the girl and her song. Bolu 
and beg Huey watch the boy's small figure as long as it could be seen. When Mowgli vanished inside the village gate, Bagheera sighed a deep sigh. It was bound to happen, he said. Mowgli is where he belongs now. The end. I like that book because it showed caring for others and that Bagheera and Bagalo liked the child and then the child found a girl who he liked and then he helped her fill her water jug but the only one thing is what will happen next what will Sly and Kion do to Mowgli we'll see you next Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. Smash that like button. And we will see you guys all later. Bye.